I've got at least $5,000 worth of clothing right here that I never wear. And it's just been sitting here in my closet for honestly, who knows how long. So today, I had the greatest idea. Instead of just letting all of that clothing sit there collecting dust, but also not just throwing it out, I had an even better idea. Today, I am gonna be holding the biggest yard sale ever because we all know I've got quite the obsession with shopping. So there's gonna be quite a bit of clothing. It's not just any yard sale. I'm gonna be holding a $1 yard sale where everything will be a dollar. I'm talking brand new items with tags. I'm talking different kinds of shoes. So many items. I mean, I even get so excited about this because I love shopping, but I even more so love when I can find a good treasure for cheap. I mean, thrift stores, come on. Amazing. It's like a girl's freaking dream. Yard sales? Especially when it's a girl your size that's got a good style that you really like. It's a treasure mania. I think that makes sense, right? <laughs> okay, but honestly, I really, really want to do this so that everyone will be able to come to this yard sale and find something that hopefully they're needing a lot more than me. And they can find those awesome treasures and all of these items will find a better home than my closet where it's collecting dust. Yeah, but we gotta go, we gotta go because I am running late on time. And there is a lot of work. And surprisingly, there's actually a lot of work that goes into these yard sales that I didn't realize five hours before I wanted to do the yard sale. So, so first up, we gotta go and make some signs. Now that I'm thinking about this, I've actually never done this before. Do I have to put my address? I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. And I already made the yard too big. I think you can really tell that I am pretty stressed and short on time because I keep messing all the things up. I don't think the brain particles are really particling there, you know? I also decided to do some posts on Facebook pages, yard sale sites, things like that, so that it could get out to more people, and so that all of the girlies would be able to find my yard sale and hopefully come and find some things. I'm like actually really, really worried. I really hope people actually come to this. Please, 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 please. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot to mention. I have a little bit of a surprise that you have to continue watching to find out. I'm so excited. Somebody is going to have the best day ever with this surprise. Hopefully, right? I have to build stuff. Oh shoot. It's either that this is like way too many items and we're not gonna sell literally anything, or this is very little, this is a very small amount of items for the amount that we've been promoting it. Oh boy. I am actually getting so nervous right now. I'm literally shaking, I don't know if you can tell. I've never done this before. I've done it when I was really young with my mom. We always did yard sales and stuff, but I've never done it by myself. So I'm really, really nervous. It is now 8.50. We are just finishing up getting up all the signs. I'm just finishing up obviously putting out all of the numbers. I don't even know what to price these things. I don't know what I'm doing. I just know we've got the one item. So we're gonna have to keep an eye out on that. But I'm hoping people show up. I think I always get the most nervous about these things because I'm worried people aren't gonna show up. It's gonna be like a fail and I'm gonna be like embarrassed of myself. I'm a little worried, like, I don't know. So the yard sale ended up starting off strong with somebody literally coming and knocking on the garage door before it even opened, asking if there was a garage sale here. But so I guess all of my worries were for nothing because we already started having some people. So we've got kind of a problem because there's an estate sale literally happening across the street from us. So people are here at our house, keep passing by thinking that this is the estate sale. It's not the estate sale. It's just a small yard sale. They're like, like, other side, other side. Hi. This always makes me nervous, but it's okay, it's fun. It's good. These are all the people that are coming from the estate sale. It's been super dry for the last little bit. More people, there's more people. Let's see if they get some things. Mm -hmm. 
day, we had like five people and they were so close to buying some stuff, but they didn't. They kept saying, they were all speaking Spanish. Luckily, I know a little bit of Spanish and they kept saying it was way too small. It's for girls. I'm sorry. We're gonna say the girls are gonna show up at like 10.30. That's my guess. We'll have to see. Keep watching to see who ends up buying the dress because I'm so excited to give whoever gets that dress the $50. Dang it, they left. I should have put up signs that say like, girl things. Because all the people that are coming are like older people. <laughs> I'm really hoping that people will buy the stuff. I've only got another hour-ish left that I said that the sale would be up for. I'm gonna have to like start going out and drawing people in. I don't know what we're gonna do. This place has been completely empty. I'm holding strong, I have faith. We had some people say that they were gonna be coming, so. I noticed that there was long periods of time where there was nobody at all, and then all of a sudden, there would be flocks of people, and there'd be like five different cars, thanks to the help with the estate sale, which then brought us like a lot of older people, which then were a little bit distraught when they came to my uh, yard sale, because it's all uh, my kind of things. But that's okay, they found some things for granddaughters, for daughters, for Honestly, anyone. And in fact, there was actually some seriously precious moments. Some of these grandmas that actually found things that fit for them. So cute. It actually made my entire day. She's my favorite. I say to you that when I was growing up, if you had holes in your pants, you were ridiculed. Now they <laughs> pay to have holes. Yes, that's so true. <laughs> Hello. Oh my gosh, that was worth more. It's exciting. They made an extra $7 with me. Dies down for a couple minutes, and then a bunch of people come, and then a bunch of people leave again. A lot of people are realizing it's either like really small, but I'm still hoping. I'm still, I've still got the faith. People have been touching the dress. But it was this like six foot five dude that was trying to look at the dress. I was like, I mean, if you buy it, I'll give you the 50 bucks. So let's see. There's people getting so many things from the estate sale. Come to mine. Come over here. Come to mine. Mine's only a dollar. It's cheaper. I get too embarrassed for the advertisement. Oh my goodness, not to mention all, the, all of the cute little tiny girl and little kids. There weren't that many, but when they came, it was so precious. And luckily I had a few things that were perfect for them as well. <laughs> this makes me literally so happy. I love your pants. Thanks. Are those dinosaurs? Yeah. It's so cute. Do you like dinosaurs or llamas? I like both. Both? So cute. I don't have any dress You can give it to me. <gasps> Thank you so much. Cute. Thank you. So fun. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys. They're like literally looking at all the dresses. They're literally looking at the dresses. Okay, never mind. I was like, they were literally like about to get that dress. They put a different one back. They keep looking at it. Oh my gosh, this like makes me nervous. got a couple more dollars. They got some swimsuits and a jacket, so they didn't end up getting the dress. They were really close to getting the dress though, so. I'm excited to see who ends up buying that one. Now we've got some girls coming. So a lot of people ended up touching the dress, looking at the dress, they thought it was super cute. I think a lot of people didn't end up buying the dress because it was priced higher. There was a purpose there. But it still made me so nervous, but also so excited every single time anyone ever touched the dress because I was super excited to be able to give them a little present back, which I would definitely freak out if I got. Are you kidding me, 50 bucks? I would freak out if I got a dollar bill on the ground. Like amazing. And it was my favorite ever when somebody finally was able to find the dress and her comment that she made, that was the cutest thing ever. 
literally made the entire thing worth it. All of these people's interactions made it so much more worth it. Even though I ended up losing a bunch of money, it was worth it in the end because that was the whole point that I was doing this for. She's gonna get the dress. Okay, so that dress, I'm actually, I'm doing a YouTube video. Okay. And that dress, whoever bought that dress, I actually have a gift for them. So you actually don't need to Venmo me. Yes. <laughs> oh I have $50 gosh. for this dress. Thank you. So because it was a little bit more expensive, I put that one up for $10, so then whoever bought the dress, I'd give them $50, so. Wow, that made my whole day. Thank <laughs> you. No, of course. It's a cute dress, so. Oh. I was like literally shaking, I was like, uh. So I ended up not selling it for $10, I ended up just giving it for 50, instead of selling the dress, so. Well, I still have so much stuff. What am I gonna do? Ah! It's okay, it's okay. Oh, that was so cute, she said made it made her a whole day. Oh. Oh wait, there's a cute grandma coming. Sale. Yes. Great. <laughs> like I'd say 90% of the things are a dollar. Some of the things are like 50 cents. Some of these like smaller things, and then a okay. few things. There's a few things that are like three dollars. Okay. Oh, there are people now coming. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. I'm rich, guys. I don't remember the last time I actually carried cash. So let's see how much I end up with at the very end. I'm very curious because all of these things can start adding up. They're not super expensive and everything that people have been buying it has only been a dollar. But let's see because it will add up. I'm gonna guess about $50 is what we'll make. The goal would be like 100, that'd be cool. The real goal is to get rid of everything and give it to other homes and other people. So oh, here we go, there's more people. Good morning. <laughs> How much was this one, Mom? Oh, two dollars. Do you want a bag? Okay. I love this so much. This is my favorite part. When other people come home with stuff that's like fun and cute. The girl's coming running back. That was so cute. She literally went running, showing the pants. Maybe the next yard sale we do, we do have men's. All one dollar. One that I died for. Came so long, side by side. Can't believe that he is mine. We just do what we do. I literally, if I made zero dollars, but I saw everyone getting happy about like the different things that they're buying, like that one girl, it'll all be worth it. Thank you, gracias. There's like so many cars here. There are so many people here, although most of them are for the estate sale, but that's okay. So things have like really started slowing down now. Wait, no, there's a grandma coming. Every single time that I say that, I think that somebody starts showing up. Maybe I should say that more often. Things are slowing down. Wait, now there's actually people coming. There's a dude, that's so awkward. He looks like he could be my age, or maybe he's like 35. So awkward, don't look at me. Just kidding, I'm selling stuff. Yeah. Well, all of this is my stuff, actually. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Basically, all of this How is my... How was your trip? It was good. Was it? But weird to go back? Re it was weird to go back. Really? It was super weird to go back. I was super sick, though. You did? What happened? I think food poisoning. You're kidding. Yep. That would probably fit. That's probably a medium. Yeah. Maybe... Cambria. 
Yeah. We're getting closer. I was sending you a poster. Thought you did. She went into her car in my favorite <laughs> Love it. Southern Virginia. Love it so Here. much. Just Oh this my way. gosh. Oh my word, look at all these clothes I'm getting for $20. Thank you. I mean, you know. You've already got some stylish clothes on. <laughs> you buying it for a sister? Yeah. Next time, next time we'll make sure to do a boy's sale. Just boy clothes. Well, you should do both. Just take this off. This is my favorite. I love, now there's all these like girls and all these, all these women that are like coming and getting the different clothes, like some grandmas that were getting some stuff. All these different women from older to younger to, it's so cute, even these little tiny girls getting the purses, so. It's all worth it. Guys, this made my whole day. <laughs> this is so much fun. So I think this is a sign to go out. Even if you have like a little bit of clothes, get all of your friends together and sell some of your clothes and just have some fun. Guys, there's a dude on his bike with his baby, but super great, super cute, love that. She's such a cute baby. Those two, and those are, those are good sizes for you. Thank you. You too. That might have been my favorite thing in the whole wide world. The dude putting his, like the shoes in it, he's got his baby in the front, he's got his bike, and then he tied one of the shoes to the back because it didn't fit in his bag. That's so cool. Here we go, now I've got a girl. This one. Like this jacket. Is that your granddaughter? My great granddaughter. Great granddaughter. Oh my goodness. She was a little embarrassed. I was like, go get her. <laughs> Dang, never mind, they left. The customers ended up slowing down a lot more as it got further into the day, but I ended up actually leaving it open a few more hours than I had planned. I thought everything was gonna get sold within the two hours that I had put up, but people continued to come and people continued to enjoy the stuff. So I left it open because it was fun. I really enjoyed talking to people and getting to interact with everyone. I started it at 9 a.m. It is now 12.30. Almost all the stuff is gone. We've tried a couple of different ideas and ways to bring people in. I think it's time to pack everything up. We're coming down to some of our last things. Some shoes are gone, jeans. Swimsuits, some dresses and stuff. It makes me so, so excited that like all the things are going to new homes, new people, and everyone's leaving smiling and excited, so. There's people that came right out and I'm closing up. I made an extra three dollars right before closing up. Now I gotta close everything up really quickly or people will still come and it'll be a little confusing, so. Well, after many hours of preparation, four hours of selling, and sitting there, talking to people, seeing a lot of people, we have come down to... I haven't even... Holy crap, I have never had this many bills, actually probably ever. I'm pretty sure 12 year old Clelia would be so excited about this. I mean, look at this. You could be earning this too. You could be doing this too. Off of a yard sale and it's super fun. Let's see how much we need. Morning, 30, 40. I literally made $70 off of selling stuff for a dollar. Can you imagine if you were to sell things for $5, maybe $10? <sighs> this is so amazing. This was obviously a little bit of a bonus. However, the biggest part was being able to see other people have some awesome finds, be able to bring home some really great things. I saw moms and kids buying stuff for other siblings or for daughters. So I think that was the biggest part. This was really nice as well, but obviously I was doing it more so so that other people could have some really awesome stuff for really cheap. But I mean, hey, like I said earlier, do a yard sale because you could honestly get some good money. So what are we gonna do with this money? 
I think I know exactly what I'm gonna do.